Hey. All right. So lots of change, lots of good things happening right now. We got the uh, VTV logo now in case you guys didn't notice. And we also have that warning about blah, blah, blah. But um, let's get back to our topic of conversation, which was how to love yourself. This is video two of that. And this is on asking questions and having compassion. Our recent, most recent video was over meditation and listening, which I just came from a meditation retreat, which is why it took me a second to post this video. So as you can see, I'm practicing what I preach. Anyways, um, back to this topic about asking questions. So, as I mentioned before, you know, our thoughts can be really busy and they can be um, all over the place. When you meditate, you're learning to tune into your own mind, learning to tune into your own body and hear these messages that um, are trying to help you move forward in a, in a positive, healthy, productive way, right? Um, so initially, like I mentioned, you just want to observe these thoughts. You just want to listen to them without judgment, without getting mad at yourself or shaming yourself or having guilt about any of these things that you have said, that you have done, that you have thought, that you have felt for so many years. And, um, and now you're starting to, to hear these things clearly and, and let them go. So we don't want to judge them. We don't want to hold on to them and shame them. We want to let them go, right? Um, but if we do feel like it's something that's going to, a thought that's going to keep reoccurring, right? It's going to keep reoccurring and it's not doing us any more justice. It's not moving us in the direction that we want to go. This is when we need to get to that point of asking questions, okay? And you can ask the questions through journaling. You can ask the questions through, um, talking to yourself in the mirror. You can ask the questions by recording yourself and, um, and replaying, you know, um, cause answers will come to the questions that you ask. And even if they don't come and all you need is just a simple validation or all you need is a, a simple, um, phrase to make you feel safe. I have one for you. It's, um, the past is in the past. Um, I am healing and I love myself now more than ever. I love myself now more than ever. So that is something that um, helped me to feel a little bit safe and hopefully it can help you as well. Um, but as I mentioned, so asking these questions and um, having compassion towards the answers. So let's say that I'm having this reoccurring thought, right? This reoccurring thought that um, is preventing me from moving forward in a relationship, right? Let's say that. Let's say that I'm in this relationship with someone and it's going really well and everything's going lovely, but all of a sudden out of nowhere, like I'll get afraid, right? Like let's say like there's a thought that, ha that something's happening and I don't know exactly what that thought is, but I'm getting afraid. And, uh, and I feel like I need to run or I need to get out of this relationship or I need to just be on my own for a while. Like, I don't know if you guys have that fear or if that's just uh, me, <laughs> but I think that it happens sometimes. So if that happens, then I can ask myself these questions about this fear, you know, like, and ask what are those thoughts? You know, let's say that the, that the feeling is stronger than the thought then you can ask the feeling what, you know, what thoughts are triggering this. Or if you're having like thoughts, then you can um, write down those thoughts, write them down. Just say like, oh, you know, I'm feeling, or I had, I was thinking that this and this and this is really bothering me. This and this is, um, I'm afraid of and I noticed this thing and this made me feel weird so write down all of your observations write down my body went tight at this point when they said this thing and once you've done that then um, go back and um, ask these questions right ask the questions of what about this made me feel uncomfortable feel not safe what um, what can I do to prevent this um, from happening in the future? What can I do or what can I say that can um, um, give me the peace of mind that I'm looking for, right? 
what can I do or say that can um, help to alleviate this concern, right? So at this point, we are asking ourselves, and we can, if you're writing, just keep writing. Just keep writing all the questions that you wanna, that you would ask, you know, if this was somebody else too. Like, just ask, like, if it's somebody else. Like, well, you know, are you, what kind of fear is it? Is it in your stomach? Is it in, you know, is it feel like anxiety? Does it feel like, does it make you sad? Does it make you mad? Like, what is it? So ask yourself all these questions. And um, once you do, then, uh, have compassion to yourself give yourself what you need already just say like you know what like I'm proud of you for even going through this process I'm proud of you for um, asking yourself like how can you feel safe and moving forward with that I'm already proud of you like you don't even have to do nothing like I'm already I'm already proud of you but if you want to take that a step further and you're having these thoughts that are freaking you out about this relationship, even though it's going perfect, then you can go ahead and start asking that person like, hey, I'm having this fear every time that this thing happens. Like, um, how can we get through this together? How can I feel safer? Like, I... I'm trying to relax my mind and I'm trying to relax my body and this is something that's happening. So do you think that together we can do something to make this okay? You know, and this is what I, I mentioned as this part of part three, but at this point, this person has a chance to say, yes, like I want to help you feel safe. Or they can take it out of proportion and they can say like, that's your problem. I don't know what I can do to help you feel better so sorry next time and if they do then you know in your heart that that person is not there to support you you know and I know that can be hard and that can hurt but that's what this does that's what this process does it helps you to become more of who you are and attract more of what you want and sometimes that means leaving behind things that aren't good for you, leaving behind those thoughts that maybe at one point kept you safe but are now holding you back, right? So this is not an easy process, but it's a well worth it process. And um, once again, have compassion. So even if this person is like, I can't help you, like that's your problem, then you can just have compassion towards yourself and say, you know what, like, I'm proud of you. We did something so brave today. We were vulnerable. We were courageous enough to even voice how we were feeling to this person. And even though we weren't received on the level that we wanted to be, like we've done something amazing for ourselves today. Today, we stood up for ourselves. We stood up to that fear. We stood up to that um, anxiety or that anger. And we faced that demon, you know? quote unquote. It's just like our shadow or whatever it is that you want to call it. But by bringing it out into the light, by bringing these concerns or these, um, these thoughts out into the light or feelings, then we are much quicker to, um, to move past it, to let it go and to love ourselves and to attract people who are going to, um, help us on our journey to feeling safe and help us on our journey to feeling loved and loving ourselves. So um, that's what I got for you today so far. And if I think of anything else, I'll definitely, or if you think of anything else that you would like from me, definitely let me know. So both, it's a two-way street, guys. I want y'all to know that I love you and I want to hear back and I want um, all of that. So much love, much blessings. I'll see you soon.